Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide, ally or betray. Three, two, one. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Chose betray, huh? That's messed up. Hey, I didn't say that. I just asked you a question. What would happen to our BP if Ten Miyoji chose to betray us? <laughs> Was I? You! What's up? Siggy! Fuck out! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Anyway, we need to go have a look at the results first. Come on. <laughs> Like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to rock. Ambidex game round one. The result. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. I got betrayed? Last time? What are you talking about? You're the one who chose Betray. I should be asking you why. I told him you might choose Betray. I can't believe you. I'd never choose Betray. I trusted you two. And this is what I got. Ah, oh, I apologize. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess you've got a point. It's Sigma's fault. You want to blame someone, blame him. Bah. What, you gonna fight each other now? I don't care which one of you pushed the button. I'm never trusting either of you again. This isn't over. Just you wait. Choose ally, then we could all escape together. 
it only takes three turns to get six points. That would be enough to get us out. Why? Well, of course we know that. But if we betray, then it's faster. If your opponent chooses ally and you choose betray, then you gain three points. Do that twice and you get six points. You see? If you ally, then you have to play the AB game three times. But if you betray somebody, you only have to do it twice. Why are you acting like that's the right thing to do? I almost feel like you're blaming me or something. We aren't trying to blame you. But, I mean, if you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you guys. Hmm. Fine. You just wait. Man. This is all your fault, Quark. My fault? Why are you blaming me? Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So... Let me just close up. The Amadex gates have closed. Round two of the Amadex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. <laughs> Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look the guards with wounds on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number 9 door. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game goes on! Of course, you could also get stuck just below 9 BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and losing points. After all, if there's no money with 9 BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round 3, and round 4, and round 5, round 100, round 2000, you might even go all the way up to around 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I don't know, can you? Yeah, so? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one big mercy. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? Maybe it's not... percent <laughs> Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So, it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! As long as the scanner 
partner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! <laughs> oh, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, dear. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well. I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Here's an exciting fact. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. someone dies on a TV show. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round! Ha <laughs> ha Oops! I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Tammy Oldie. Or, or Alas. Or Mooney. Or maybe. Everyone? <laughs> what? Why? Yeah, why am I going to die? Hmm, I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is! <laughs> Correct, Ziggy. Full marks. Uh, I see. Alice, Luna, and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, 
magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? Mine's magenta, too. Me, too! Hey, wait! It wasn't just the color that changed. I'm a solo now. I'm a yellow pair now. I am yellow as well, but it seems I'm still a pair. Then who's the yellow solo? Me. Still a solo. Looks like I'm cyan. I'm a cyan pair. Aren't you one too? Yeah. Says pear and the color cyan. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, it's <laughs> totally random. No rules or anything. Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna cry? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Suckers! As if I'd cry over you dummies! <laughs> you mad? Oh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Have a nice tragedy. Piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. Um, so what happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections?
Hmm, Sigma. What do you want? Tell you what, how about I'll be the doctor? You get on the exam table and I'll cut you open with that scalpel over there. What the hell do you think? My BP's down to one thanks to you. Yes, and that makes it all better, you goddamn idiot! <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just get out of my sight. Leave before I make yours black. The last guy I fought went home in an ambulance. Shut up. <laughs> On this side of the divider, yeah. Quark's over there, having a look around. And there's... <laughs> You're really gonna make me say it? <laughs> oh, what, isn't that normal? <laughs> we found a dead body. Who the hell doesn't get a little freaked out? Uh, what ain't normal is all of you just running around like nothing happened. <laughs> Hell, some of you probably don't even remember she's in here. <laughs> oh, just trying to survive, huh? <laughs> then don't you think we ought to figure out who killed her first? <laughs> you don't think much, do you? I'll bet you a pound of neodymium, the bastard who grabbed us, is the same bastard who killed her. Who else could it be? <laughs> yeah. Not really. The gas made pretty short work of me. Me and Quark. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we were. So what if he is? Why do you want to know? That doesn't have anything to do with what's going on here. I'm pretty sure it won't. Quark's got nothing to do with this. What is it, goddammit? What do you want? Why don't you just leave me alone? What? There's nothing suspicious about me. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'm gonna tell that to someone who betrayed me. <laughs> hey, stop it! Quark! Don't tell him a damn thing! <laughs> Stuck in this place is pretty exhausting. And, and. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Quark, get over here. Yeah. Maybe Luna should have a look at you. Supposedly, she's some sort of doctor. I 
said I was fine. Gosh, Grandpa, you're such a worrier. You always freak out over nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> yep, come on. Let's get back to work. I'm guessing you didn't find a secret passage somewhere, huh? <sighs> I see. What, you think I need you to tell me that? Sigma. Well, have you found anything? <laughs> Nothing. I looked through three or four of the rooms in here. No secret passages so far. I don't think we're gonna find any. Do you really think Zero Senior is that stupid? You're probably right. A secret passageway would be a pretty serious oversight. I have a lot of choice adjectives for Zero, but I admit stupid isn't one of them. Right? with a virus called Radical Six. Yeah, they have. I told them about it before we went to the lounge. What? What? No. No, that can't be right. The Quark can't be... There must be something we can do. How can we cure him? Well, the Atom says that there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Was there none in the infirmary? Sigma, Tenmyoji, and I looked everywhere. We didn't find anything. We didn't find anything like that in the crew quarters either. No luck in the lounge. Oh god. Then he's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... escape! But how? Like... this!
in here. No. Well, I mean... What? There's Soparil Beta. <laughs> Soparil? That's the anesthetic! The one that's in our bracelets! Good, perfect. Hit him with some of that. Well, what? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. <sighs> but... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay, let me just... Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! <sighs> Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves... Everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, um, uh, well... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article Sigma showed me. You'd better not be lying. Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses that do the same thing. I, I was just making a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six, too? Yes. At least, I think so. <laughs> Look at this last line. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Are you saying this is some kind of quarantine zone? I already explained this. That's not possible. Why not? Then, you're saying the newspaper article was faked? But the virus is clearly real. That atom machine told us he was infected with Radical 6. So? Do you know how that thing works? I bet there's a thousand ways to hack it. Zero Senior probably just programmed it so that it would spit out whatever he wanted. Besides, there was something Sigma mentioned. Have any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well, no, but... I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bioweapon. What? What did you say? As much as I would love to, I'm sorry. Time's up. Hit the buttons on your bracelet. We only have five minutes until the chromatic doors open downstairs. Exactly. I'm sorry, but I'd really need more than five minutes to explain this. Or would I? Who knows? Fine. We'll deal with this later. Right now we need to get to the elevator and head down to floor B. What are we going to do about Quark? I'll carry him. Are you sure? I can't just leave the boy here. Besides, if we don't have Quark's bracelet, there'll be one team who can't open their secondary door. If that happens... They'll get penalized. Exactly. Very well, then. I will carry Quark. I will be able to move much faster than Ten Yuji. Huh. Make a good point. Look, are you sure about this? Can I trust you? You have nothing to worry about. Fine, just... be careful. Of course.
All right, let's go. We're running out of time, people. Move! Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. They're open! We need to hurry. Who's going to go in which door? <laughs> We're almost out of time. Pay attention. We've only got time to do this once. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. go with Sigma. He betrayed me last time. You hit the button, right, Sigma? I don't want to go with Dio. Same reason. I can't trust that he won't betray me again. Uh, thanks a lot, Quark. You've single-handedly torpedoed my reputation. Well, that leaves us with option B. No, we can't do option B. Why not? Sorry, Luna, but I can't trust you or Fi either. The way he is right now, someone's going to have to carry Quark. I just can't afford to give him to someone I don't trust. <laughs> Not enough for this. Then what do you intend to do? Quark is a solo, as are you, Tenmyoji. Solos can't pair with one another. You do remember that. Yeah, of course I do. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person. Clover. What? Me? Yeah, that's what I said. Why? I can't tell you. I just know that you'll keep him safe. Um, well, that's nice of you to say, but... My partner is Sigma. Are you sure you want me to take him? It's fine. Clover, you just vote by yourself. Make Sigma wait outside the AB room. No. If Clover takes Quark, then we have to go with option C, right? That means I'll be stuck with Dio. There's no way in hell I'm going to let that happen. Who do you want to pair up with then? Isn't it obvious? Quark. Remember what the announcement said? Something about how the system will automatically vote ally for anyone who doesn't enter their own vote in time? If Quark doesn't wake up by then. No! This is exactly why I can't trust any of you. One minute remains until chromatic. We don't have time to argue this. Let's take a vote. Those opposed to C? What? Why don't you want C, Dio? Well, if she's got that much of a hate on for me, that hardly plays into my hands, does it? Mm. Fine, whatever. I assume anyone who didn't raise their hand is alright with option C, then? Alright. Six to two in favor. Wait! What about me? Stay here if you don't like it. I imagine your partner might have something to say about that, though.
Fine. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Right. Hey, take care of Quark. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. <laughs>